Okay, here is part two, and I'll try and remember some of those things that Trent said in the comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sprite that I'm going to use for the wall of this. Because I haven't got my, um, now let's say, let, let's go back to, um, let's go back to Edmodo and see what Trent said. I'm creating a sprite, SPR, good? So, SPR underscore wall. So, I'm actually going to edit a sprite this time. There we go. I'm getting myself a new picture. I actually want it to be quite small this time, just 10 by 10. So, I click on it, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm calling control and equals. It zooms right in, and I'm going to make this one nice and simple. I'm going to give it a, a, red, a red go, and there's my square. And there we go. I have that. So I hit the tick. And I hit the tick and now I have another sprite for the wall. So I'm going to create an object, which is the wall. So its sprite, of course, is that. I'm going to make it solid but not visible. And I'll kind of explain what that's about shortly. So when I go into my room, the reason I'm doing all of this is I want to put a border around my room. So I go to my room and I'm going to put in an object, which is the wall. But it's invisible. And I'm going to, as it says over here, I'm going to select, actually it's not select multiple, sorry, shift control, add multiple. So I'm holding down the shift and control buttons and I'm zooming along the bottom here. Now I made a mistake there, which I'll have to go back and fix up. Now this might seem slow and a little bit clunky, but it's a whole lot quicker than the alternative. The reason I'm doing this is that I'm going to build in a rule that if anybody bumps into the rule, the wall, they bounce off. So this is going to give me a confined space to play. Now, I'm just going to select these ones here. Delete. Delete and delete. Actually, I've got a few of those to delete. I'm sure Trent's watching just going, there's another way to do this. And I'm sure there will be. Have a look in the comments. Uh, so, here I go. I have now deleted all my extraneous bits of wall and the good thing is that none of those big sprites can fit through there I'll just check yep object 3 I should have called that um, object wall but it will function just as well there we go I have a barrier so I close down my room now the player the player needs a, a new rule that if he has a collision with the wall he will bounce off so, not precisely against solid objects. Good. My enemy, I think, could afford to do that as well. Although, having said that, if they're always following me, I'm not sure exactly what they've got to bounce off again. But let's put it in there anyway. Doesn't hurt to... Um... So, if an enemy... Hang on. Yeah, if an enemy has a collision with the wall, then they'll bounce off. Fine. But you know what, my game is still a bit simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in yet another sprite because this time I'm going to create an obstacle. So I'm going to load a sprite. Uh, and let's make it... Uh, what will we make it? Let's make it the eye star. Uh, there you go. So that's done. Let's make an object that looks like the eye star. Create object. I'm going to make it solid. I'm going to give it the Sprite 5. Why don't I be a good little camper? OBG underscore star. Okay. Now, I'm not going to give it any, any instructions, but what I am going to do is go back to the player and say that if the player collides with the star, then they bounce off it, which is fine. And likewise, if the enemy... I'll give them an event. If they collide with the star, then they too can bounce off it. So with any luck, I have now made my game a little bit more interesting. I better, why don't I move my bad guys around? Move my rocket ship to make it harder to get to. Get it out of the way of the bricks. Let's have a bad guy there so that I've got someone waiting for me. Go to my objects and let's put in some some stars. There we go. Just to make life a little bit more difficult. Now I'm actually going to move them 
out of the way of the brickwork because I just like a nice clean looking game. But you know what, that's just me. You do whatever works for you. There we go. And let's move that up there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I can't remember whether I did this now. Can my players go through walls? No, they cannot because they bounce off the wall. That's good. Can my bad guys go through walls? Yes, they can. So, if they collide with a wall, then they need to bounce off as well. I've forgotten to do that. And okay, so let's run this game, see how it goes. Okay, let's see what happens when I hit the stars. Oh, I bounced off, that's good. Now I'm about to get killed. Oh, I just away. No, I didn't. So there you go, it's made it a little bit more interesting. I still don't know that I'm going to get away, actually. Oh, I didn't. I got zapped. Oh, I got zapped again. Oh, I'm about to get zapped again. There you go. I have now got myself in the unstoppable zapping loop. But there you go. That's a little bit more complexity to the game. I'll make a third part about how to add sounds.